How'd you feel coming back? Pretty good, actually. Uh, I got to, uh, I got to skate Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So felt like I had my legs after about three shifts. Uh, yeah, felt good out there tonight. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, you play a couple games and coming back from an injury, and then you turn around and, and head for Springfield. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, kind of got my. I got a little break there this week, and uh, you know didn't skate for about a week. So uh, you know it's exciting, obviously. Uh, I was talking to one of the guys the other day that you're not going to play in all-star games your whole life. So uh, cherish them when they're here and, and enjoy them. Um, you know, hopefully the weather's not too bad and I can get out of here someday. <laughs> yeah, that's another question. Does it get a little bit more difficult You know, when you get older and you've also been in a lot of them? Yeah. You know, some of the guys in the NHL, they just bypass them and take the, the suspension. You know, on, on the other side, yeah. on the AHL side, you're probably in that class where you deserve it if you wanted to. Yeah, I think it goes back to, you know, what I said. I mean, um, my, my parents come, my sister come. It's, uh, you know, it's a fun two days. It's really, it's not hard on the body to, you know, skate out there and, and do the skills. So it's, uh, it's a travel, but, uh, you know, I'll cherish them when I can. And, uh, you know, like I said, I got last week off, uh, fortunately, with a little injury and, and got some time to kind of rest up the body, so I feel good for the second half. How do you balance that, you know, not having the rest where the other guys do? Uh, you know, managing managing my time off the ice the rest of the way, you know, when I don't need to practice on, on a practice day, utilizing those days to rest the body, um, you know, just, you know, managing my time away from the rink too, I think proper sleep. 10 years in now, so I know what, what my body needs and, and mm -hmm. you know, kind of how far to push it and, and what not to do. Do yeah. you have any thoughts on just the value of an HL All-Star game nowadays? Yeah, I think it's I think it's still exciting. I think uh, with the new format, it's great. You know, it's, it? it's fun to, you know, play three on three. Fans want to see goals and, and that creates obviously a lot of uh, odd man opportunities. And then, um, you know, they're just, I think 90% of the players in the NHL come through the, the American League, so uh, you're seeing some high-end talent. Um, you know, you get to see players that maybe you don't see in the East and uh, high-end prospects that probably will be in the NHL. Talk a little bit about the second period. And how you, did you feel the momentum shift as they started? You know, they had a bunch of breakaways. And... Yeah, I don't think the momentum shifted. I thought we our power play. Generate a lot of chances tonight. I mean, again, story of the year. I mean, we, we move the puck, we have the puck in the zone for a minute 30, we shoot, we get it back. It just doesn't go in the net. Um, you know, I think two two mistakes kind of cost us those first two goals off the faceoff, and then, um, you know, obviously that breakaway hurt, and then kind of we were uh, chasing the rest of the way. What makes San Jose a tough team to go up against? It was fast. I thought it was a really fast, fast paced game tonight. It was. It was fun. It was fun to play. I mean, they're uh, opportunistic. When they get the puck, they're looking to counter really quick, and uh, their D are very active. So, um, but again, you know, we can take advantage of that, and we can utilize that to our strengths. It's pretty chippy out there too. Is that kind of to be expected against them? Yeah, I just think as the game goes along, obviously frustrations mount from our side that you know we haven't scored or you know we've given up a goal and. Um, you know, the rest of the way is going to be tight games. It's going to be hard checking. It's going to be, uh, you know, a little chippy, and, and that's kind of the edge that these last 30 games will have. Last night, it was kind of a similar story on the power play, especially the first few last night, where good chances, good possession. Is, is there a point where you just have to be, you know, just keep reproducing that and wait till they go in? Or? Yeah, I mean, you know, you look at the beginning of the year where we were giving up goals. It was a negative impact on the team and on the game. Um, you know, Camper, myself, Pumple, Heronic, you're talking about guys that have ran power plays and had a lot of success. I'd love to tell you the answer why it doesn't work, but sooner or later it's got to click. And, and a power play, if you're not going to score, you need to generate positive momentum. And I think we've been doing that lately. I think on Wednesday against Winnipeg, Pumps had three backdoor plays in the same shift. I mean, one of those got to go in. You know, a couple one-timers tonight that four tips and they're on the goal line and they're in the crease. You know, we just got to, you know, we're not going to, we've done it our whole lives, a lot of us on the power play. We're not going to give up now. And um, the good news is we're in first place without a power play. Imagine what we could be like when we get a power play going.
and it was a tough game for us. We didn't play that well, how we can play. So, yeah. We lost, so I didn't feel great. How difficult is it for you to shift gears and be back here? You know, you've done it before, but you know, this time you've been gone for a month and a half, played a lot, played well, and all of a sudden you're back here. Um, it's part of the business, you know. I, I don't think so. Something changed for me, so so I don't see a big difference. Is or it like it's different. It's a little bit different here, but. Uh, I have to take it how is that. Were you able to do that mentally? Yeah, I think mentally I was fine with that. But, uh, I don't think so. I played a bell or something to me. Yeah. How would you describe the, this recent stint in Detroit? I mean, it was fun, you know, get experience. I was there for a little bit, I was there a little bit longer now and uh, I try to take some positives from there and move forward. And in the last seven games or so you've been successful, you've been productive. Does it make that difficult to all of a sudden shift and come down here? Oh, not really, I just I felt good down up there and, uh, and I had my confidence. So. I don't think so. It was hard for me. Maybe I should ask it this way. Does it make it easier to come down here? I don't think so. It was easier or harder. I think that was like just get back and I was trying to help a team to win the game, but it didn't happen. So we have to move move forward and uh, get better tomorrow. You look comfortable with uh, Hicketts? Yeah, if we felt good. I mean, he was a good on the park. We was trying to help to each other, small players. So some given goes. Yeah, I felt really good with him. What do you think the biggest difference is between um, the NHL and the AHL? Do you think it's the speed or speed of play out there? What's the biggest difference, you think? The, the speed for sure. And, uh, you know, the guys up there are uh, more skilled, I feel like. You can make a small place. I feel about your position that you're in, Philip. I mean, because you know the, the guys up there are the guys up there. I mean, you know who who there who's there, and I don't know if you, once the break's over, if you're going to be able to go back to Detroit. You have any? I have no idea. How do you look at that? Do you? Uh, I'm here right now, and uh, I'm going by day by day, and. I'm not thinking about what happened after two weeks or whatever. Yeah. Trying to help the team win here and uh, get to the good spot for the playoffs. They're a good hockey team. You look at their record, and obviously we've watched them on, on film before tonight, but they're, they're a good hockey team. They're an aggressively forward-checking team. Uh, they do a great job in their defensive zone of keeping us out to the outside. Uh, got some big defense, and they make it hard to get to the net front. And uh, both are goaltenders. You saw one tonight. Uh, that was phenomenal. There's a reason why he's second in the league in goals against and fifth or sixth in save percentage. And then Bebo is fantastic as well. So they've got a lot of good pieces, but you know, after the game we talked about, you know, they're a good hockey team, but so are we. We didn't play very well. So the fact that uh, they're a good hockey team, and I thought they, they played hard tonight, uh, combined with the fact that we didn't play very well wasn't a good combination. How would you assess Phil? Uh, I thought he tried to do too much at times, but. Uh, and I think he has to realize this is still a very hard league to play in. And as you go down levels, there's a little bit less structure within uh, within the game itself. Uh, you're not going to have as clean a game here, and you have to kind of manage your game. And I think at times you got away from that. But uh, again, anytime you're going from a different team to a different team, different level to a different level, I think there is a little bit of an acclimation period, whether that's a period, whether that's a game, whether that's a week, that's it's going to happen, it's to be expected. Can you look at him a little bit differently responsibility-wise than before because he had been gone for a month and what he's yeah, done? No, Phil's been here long enough and knows how we operate here and what's expected of him and uh, not only within the, the structure of the team but as an individual. So I don't think there's anything lost in translation. He went up and played very well in Detroit, uh, came down here wasn't disappointed, discouraged. He's looking forward to playing over uh, 
the All Star break uh, and the bye week that Detroit had. So he was uh, he wasn't you know, disgruntled by any means. Yeah. I think they wanted him to penalty kill more at various times when he was here. The, mm -hmm. How have you seen him kind of take to that? And then what, what was the learning curve like? Well, from day one this year, we've tried to find him more ice time. We've tried to make because if that is going to be one of the things that's holding him back from the NHL level. You know, we have to find a way for him to work on it and get him some opportunities to do that in the game. So uh, that's why we're here as a developmental league. If he needs to kill penalties, we're going to give him that opportunity and we're going to work with him. And the only way you get better at it is to continually do it. What did you think of the – why the pairing with uh, Joe? Uh, they played a little bit together before, and then uh, we looked at the other pairs, and Billy and uh, Chelly played well together. In the past, Mac and Tuli have played a little bit together, so almost by default. But I think Joe and, and Phil have played a little bit together in the past, and uh, their personalities just off the ice in the locker room are you know, they've combined pretty well. And on the ice tonight was wasn't great, but again, it was their first game together. Would you switch that around after this weekend? Uh, well, we switched after the second period when uh, a couple of D were, were struggling a little bit. So we'll look at it and we'll again. It's always a moving pieces and parts, and we'll sit down and uh, you know, get Lash off back in the lineup tomorrow, and you know, that'll hopefully help settle things down. How would you assess uh, Sedina to this point in this season? Uh, steady, progressing steadily, uh, inconsistent at times, but uh, again, he's a young kid who's, who's finding his way through this league and navigating through uncharted waters. So. Uh, you know, he's got to focus on controlling what he can control and not trying to do too much at times. But uh, from the perspective of where he was at the beginning of the year to where he is now, with all the hoopla and all the questions and all the hype about him, I think he's been, I think he's been he's handled well and he's been good. You sense any frustrations with him if the game that doesn't perform well? Maybe he misses a couple chances. Does he ever express any frustration or with all the pressure he's got on him? Fans. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like like anyone, he wants to succeed, and he's hard on himself, and he has high expectations for himself. So uh, he absolutely gets frustrated. And again, we try and make sure that his confidence isn't too high and isn't too low. That he has to manage himself and manage uh, manage the game. What's the message been to him from the coaching staff of what he needs to improve on this year and Just on next year? Consistency. You know, like any young kid, you got to be consistent. It's great to have a couple good games in a row. You can have a great game, and maybe he's done that at times. And you got to. You know, pro hockey is. You get, what have you done for me lately? You know, you got to follow it up. You got to do it again. The good players do it consistently. The great players do it every night. He is a guy that can get visibly kind of frustrated too. Sometimes, he's yeah. Capable. Like, is that something you just let him let him work through? Or? No, no, no. We've talked about that and not letting your frustration show. And body language is a huge thing. So, uh, if you can project again, you know, it's almost look good, feel good, play good. So, you know, that's kind of something that we've been working on with him and. And he's a young, young kid, so you know it's going to take some guys a little bit of, uh, longer time. But he's 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 fine. What what can an experience like the World Juniors do for a player like that? Well, it's just a different game. I mean, World Juniors is over and done with. He's moved on. We've moved on. There's a good opportunity for him to go get a little confidence and uh, maybe get a little bit more uh, home cooking and hang out with some of his countrymen. And you know, he's he's on his own for a first time in a, in a different city, so to go back and be with some of his uh, fellow colleagues and, and Czech teammates. I, I'm sure that was a good reprieve for him. Now coming back, hopefully it's refreshing and it's over with and he's ready to hit the ground running here. Getting Chris Terry back, what did you think of him tonight? I think Terry was all right. I mean, I, again, they're a big, big defensive core and they did a great job of blocking shots. Uh, you know, it wasn't a great game, it wasn't a horrible game. We were just kind of a vanilla team tonight.